Okay. Welcome. Uh, this is Mark Limbruner speaking, uh, president of uh, the Geospatial Information Technology Association. Uh, welcome to the uh, GITA annual business meeting. Uh, we uh, hold one of these meetings uh, once a year to comply with uh, IRS nonprofit regulations and also to comply with our association bylaws. Uh, we have several people, uh, participants online, so I appreciate you uh, joining me. For folks that uh, have joined, uh, joined us for the annual meeting, I appreciate you spending a little bit of time with us. Uh, with that, we're going to uh, uh, move on. Uh, first, we're going to have our association update and progress for this past year. Uh, earlier this year, the Board of Directors met uh, and developed the new vision, mission, and objective statements for the association. And uh, as you can see, our vision statement, uh, uh, the, uh, as GITA continues to be the premier professional association for enriching the broader geospatial community, our mission is to educate, connect, and advocate for the geospatial community. And uh, our objectives are to provide our members high quality, industry specific uh, educational opportunities and networking engagements. We're here to advance the usage and understanding of geospatial technologies, continue to grow our involvement within and beyond the infrastructure and utilities markets. Uh, we believe this broadens the association's targeted market uh, beyond just the uh, previously focused uh, infrastructure market, and uh, we believe this should provide for continued association growth. Uh, a little bit of review on our cost savings since we've moved to uh, converted to basically what is a virtual organization. Uh, these uh, statistics were provided by uh, Steve Swayze of Share Geo, who is our administrator of GITA. And uh, if we're looking back at, at GITA in 2012, we had four full-time personnel left from the original staff of nine. That was still costing us approximately $370,000 per year, uh, and that included benefits. As of this year, uh, GITA in 2017, we have eight part-time staff members. Our outlays are approximately $60,000 per year. Uh, everyone is a contractor. We don't have to pay any benefits, and we're better positioned. And we are a better positioned and enabled association. Uh, some more of the outline. Uh, progress since uh, conversion to virtual organization, uh, and, and most of this work was conducted by, uh, by Share Geo. Uh, since 2013, uh, we brought to life our abandoned Facebook, Twitter, and LinkedIn accounts, created a GITA YouTube channel. Uh, we cut the constant contact bounce rate from 40% down to 2%. Uh, which was an incredible development. Uh, developed article submission program with infrastructure resources. We're, we're now have a GITA uh, publication, which is, uh, or a GITA article, which is uh, included in their, uh, in their magazines. Uh, uh, we've created a GITA net self-serve system to provide creation and access to graphics and past promotional items. This is for our uh, board of directors, staff, and volunteers. We can put together our information and also request uh, information and uh, items from our warehouse to be used at our regional conferences. Uh, we have a free Google AdWords account that was established. And just over this past year in 2017, uh, Share Geo recruited and trained a social media director, and our outreach efforts across social media have continued to increase in volume and expanse. Uh, we're routinely now seeing Facebook impressions of 500 plus per month, with a recent record of 2,130 for Pipeline Week. Uh, 
and as I said, we're basically a virtual organization. We do a lot of our work and outreach through LinkedIn, YouTube, and uh, Facebook and Twitter. And incidentally, we believe that our YouTube channel, as a matter of fact, we know that it's the most comprehensive library of geospatial education being provided, except for maybe ESRI. Uh, it's far beyond what any other geospatial organization is providing. So uh, it's an incredible uh, value to our members, and <clears throat> we'd like to see it used more as possible. Uh, we've got uh, quite a few videos online, and uh, it's, it's uh, quite an achievement what uh, Shared Geo was able to put together for us. Uh, some of the statistics on the outline and social media outreach. You can see the increased numbers across the board. Uh, for LinkedIn, uh, we're now getting, uh, with social media members, we've grown from 3,300 to over 5,100. Twitter, we drew, grew from 2,100 uh, members to over 3,200 members. Facebook, we now have uh, 1,288 folks that, I guess, like us. Uh, on YouTube uh, statistics, you can see our growth in videos. We've grown from uh, 71 in 2016 to 109 in 2017. And our views and subscribers just continue to grow. We've had over 8,400 views. And this was dated back in October of uh, uh, this year. Uh, website visits, uh, you can see our website hits in October were about 1754 uh, of October 2016. By October 2017, they had grown to over 3,100, which is an increase of 81%. So we're, we've seen vast increases uh, across the board. Uh, where that really shows up for us, though, is the increased social media presence supports an increased membership base. Our growth from November 2016 to 2017, our total individual members have increased by 23%. Uh, the number of premium and standard affiliates has grown by over 26%, and our educational affiliates, it was a relatively small number, but we were able to increase that by 200%. So, uh, so our uh, our online presence is paying off for the organization. Uh, another big factor in our uh, increased virtual presence has been uh, led by my uh, fellow director Drew Fiorinelli, who uh, heads up our refreshed and very popular webinar series. Uh, we're, we're on hiatus uh, for. Um, uh, through January, but we hope to be back in February, and we're looking for some new uh, lower-cost alternatives to provide that also to our members. But uh, uh, Drew's work and the uh, speakers he's recruited has just been, been invaluable, and many times over this last year, we've actually maxed out our total amount of folks who are able to, uh, to uh, utilize uh, the webinars and, and tune in, and uh, it's, it's been, been a great amount of work, so we really appreciate it. Uh, GITA is still a, an international organization or associated with our international partners. Uh, we either work with our partners or we also assist them with outreach and developing programs. Uh, this past year, we've been able to support Go Geomatics, which is a coast-to-coast -coast effort across Canada for uh, geospatial college students. Uh, we're hoping to bring online a, a Mexican uh, GITA chapter or event uh, this coming year. We're currently work one of our board members is working with uh, one of our presenters from Pipeline Week to bring that online. Uh, GITA in Japan, uh, they had their Tokyo conference. Uh, few months ago. Uh, they continue to go strong. Our Energist Conference held here in Pittsburgh uh, was able to draw attendees from Korea. Uh, we've already got attendees booked from Nigeria uh, for next year. Uh, we also support uh, GISTAM uh, in Portugal. We do cross-marketing with them. Uh, we have a GITA chapter in Hungary and our Australian uh, chapter is also still going strong. So uh, we continue to work with our colleagues all across the world to uh, 
advanced uh, geospatial education. Uh, specifically and more locally, uh, we have our North American outreach and activities and uh, just working kind of clockwise around it. Of course, I mentioned the Go Geomatics events across Canada. Uh, we have our annual Energist event, which is focused on energy-related GIS uh, in the spring held here outside of Pittsburgh. Uh, this past year, we had uh, a presence at the Pipeline and Energy Expo in Oklahoma. Uh, we're involved with the 811 Common Ground Alliance. Uh, they moved their meetings back and forth between Phoenix and Orlando, and I'll have a little bit more on that. Uh, Pipeline Week continues to be GITA's flagship event, uh, which is held in Houston annually. Uh, Upper Midwest Geocon has become a biannual event, and uh, that's coming up again this year. And uh, as usual, we'll hold our uh, GITA Pacific Northwest Conference also this spring. Uh, we're pretty much front-loaded on the year for our regional events. Energist is going to be held in April. Uh, the GITA Pacific Northwest Conference is also going to be held in April. And uh, the, the Upper Midwest Geocon is going to be held in May of this coming year. So uh, keep an eye out on the social media uh, front for GITA for upcoming events, call for papers, et cetera, and of course, obviously, ticket sales. We appreciate your continued support on those efforts. Uh, we're really tremendously excited to be returning to the Southwest uh, this coming year, joining with uh, the Common Ground Alliance to produce a uh, joint uh, conference uh, next March in Phoenix. Uh, the main conference, the CGA conference, is going to run March 6th through 8th. Uh, the GITA event is front-loaded with that. It's going to be on Monday, March 5th, and also on Tuesday, March 6th. We're going to be uh, holding the event in the same location with CGA. We have a lot of cross-pollination between our tracks. Uh, Steve Swayze and Cher Geo have spent a lot of effort on getting this event up and running, and uh, you deserve a lot of credit for this. And if you'd like to learn more about it, uh, you know, please go to our website, www.gitasw.org. And uh, a little bit of uh, more detail on this, uh, our attendees to the GITA conference get a free expo pass to the uh, CGA 811 Excavation Safety Conference. Uh, we have options for GITA attendees to upgrade their conference pass to include all the uh, CGA uh, safety conference educational sessions and meals. And uh, this is going to be a big, big, big uh, event. Uh, we hope to see you there. We're putting together a really great program. I'm going to be out there uh, presenting. Uh, I have uh, another colleague here I work with who's also going to be presenting. So uh, we hope to see you out in Phoenix. Uh, next March. Uh, obviously, uh, being a nonprofit organization, our educational and charitable assistance is uh, of paramount importance. Uh, the GITA scholarships uh, are, a, are a big function of that uh, with uh, uh, this past, the past two years, we've been able to offer uh, scholarships through Pipeline Week, Pacific Northwest Conference, and Energist also. Uh, also, our uh, 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 big uh, contributors to the educational industry. I'm going to just pause for my presentation. And Steve, do you, do you need me to pass you back the host key for some reason? Negative. Okay, I, I saw that message popping up, but wasn't sure what, what you needed. Okay, uh, just an outline of our uh, scholarship winners. These were awarded at Pipeline Week uh, this past year in Houston. Uh, our GITA North America 27 scholarship winners were Georgia Bass from the University of Massachusetts, Justin McCulloch from Bowling Green State University, and Scott Nesbitt from the University of Wisconsin. So uh, these are 
three young people that are really involved in the industry. Uh, they turned in some some top notch uh, proposals, and they they were the winners of our uh, scholarship for this this past year. Uh, a little bit of summary on scholarships over this past year: the Pacific Northwest chapter gave away. $3,000 uh, Mid-Atlantic chapter through Energis gave away $4,000 in scholarships. Uh, Gita National through Pipeline Week, we gave away the $3,000. And just as a, a way to show how this is a cumulative effect, uh, since 2014, uh, the Mid-Atlantic chapter through Energis alone has contributed over $19,000 in scholarships and uh, another $2,500 for food banks. So, uh, uh, th this is where we all as professionals really get to pay it forward to the next uh, generation of uh, geospatial professionals. Uh, incidentally, uh, if you'd like to make a contribution, also uh, via the website we have a, uh, you can donate to our scholarship fund. Uh, we accept check, money, order, credit card, so on like that. So right there on our website. Please, uh, if you can do anything to help GITA support the next generation of geospatial professionals, donate today. We uh, greatly appreciate the help. Uh, GITA recognition and awards. Uh, we're really proud for 2017. We've completely re-inaugurated uh, our award program. Uh, awards are available for both individual and corporate. Uh, for uh, corporations who have made significant contributions to the geospatial industry. Uh, we actually have a hard time getting people to nominate uh, folks for their uh, efforts through the year, and we, we do a little, good bit of uh, advertising on it. So keep an eye out on social media uh, when we're accepting uh, nominations, or better yet, just if you know somebody right now you think's worthy of it, go ahead and, and jump the gun. Feel free to email me. My email will come up at the end of the call, at the end of the meeting here. Uh, but uh, keep an eye out on social media for nomination opportunities. Uh, this past year, we awarded our Pipeline Week Outstanding Presenters. Uh, I had the honor of uh, delivering the awards to the, these two gentlemen, uh, Joe Bentley and Adrian Gonzalez. Uh, they were selected mainly because they're, they're not only outstanding presenters for our, our Pipeline Week conference, but they're also significant contributors to the geospatial industry. So it, it was with great pleasure uh, that I was able to award these uh, two gentlemen with, uh, with the awards and also to, uh, to, to he hear their feedback on how GITA has, has affected them professionally and, and the help that we've been able to provide them in their uh, careers. Uh, a large uh, function of GITA is also lobbying, and I uh, just want to give you a, a uh, update on that. We lobby not only on your behalf at the federal, but we're also doing it at the state level. And uh, the big issue this year was obviously uh, the Geospatial Data Act. and. Uh, our main goals uh, w within the, the Geospatial Act uh, that could have impacted geospatial professionals was uh, procurement language, which uh, would have limited G GIS and geospatial work. Uh, it would have put a limit on folks that are not certified as professional engineers, professional licensed surveyors, or registered architects. Uh, in addition, uh, we were able with uh, several other organizations to lobby. Uh, that language has now been removed from the draft bill, but it hasn't been moved yet for action, so we're going to keep an eye on that to make sure that that stays out. We also held two webinars uh, this past year to educate the uh, geospatial public on that. Uh, additionally, we're also currently opposing House Bill 1106, which passed the Pennsylvania House of Representatives. It's now in the Senate. It is going to put those same type of restrictions on GIS and geospatial professionals. That you basically either need to be a PE or PLS, or you need to be working underneath the supervision of those folks. And it really doesn't take into account uh, the GISP registration or the professional ethics that has been developed by the geospatial community. 
So, uh, uh, and what what I want the uh, the public to be aware of, and, and please reach out to us if you hear of new regulations or legislation that's going to take place in your state uh, that's going to affect your ability to perform your duties as a geospatial practitioner. We can assist you give you some pointers on how to go about opposing legislation. We can uh, also uh, raise the ire of our fellow uh, GIS, uh, geospatial organizations to help oppose these efforts. So uh, this is a, a team effort on part of all the professional uh, associations within the industry. So please, please reach out to us if you hear of anything going on at the state level. We would greatly appreciate it. Uh, we want you to stay informed and stay involved. As I mentioned, we, we had a few webinars uh, on the Geospatial Data Act. As you see those items come up, please tune in, find out the latest news, and we obviously we want you to stay involved also. Uh, as you know, uh, that uh, as any legislation coming up, get us involved, but also uh, reach out yourself. Reach out to your uh, federal congressmen and senators. Reach out to your state legislators. Uh, the, the uh, effect of a well-written uh, or well-timed call to your state senator, state legislature, the state, state legislator could uh, could significantly impact their position on the issue. So, uh, and we want to make sure that you have the ability to practice your craft as you see fit. We really don't want to uh, uh, be overseen or, or have the geospatial community become a uh, subset of uh, professional engineering or professional licensed surveyors. Uh, as we're wrapping things up, I just want to go over uh, your benefits as a GITA member or affiliate, just a real quick rundown. Uh, for affiliate membership benefits, uh, we have uh, free online corporate recognition, all the logos of our uh, Corporate members are online there. Uh, we have free sponsorship opportunities. We can get you preferential exhibit spaces at our conferences. Free individual memberships with premium, you can get 10. Standard will we'll get you five. Educational, we can bring in 50 of your students or colleagues uh, as GITA members. Uh, obviously, I touched on our industry awards program and uh, what we believe we're providing is superb networking opportunities. Uh, individual membership benefits, uh, substantial event discounts, speaking opportunities. We're always looking for speakers. Uh, the free webinars I mentioned that Drew puts out, uh, just an invaluable tool. Uh, free access to the GITA Learning Center, which includes uh, not only our YouTube channel, but uh, uh, slides and other educational and position papers, uh, very important. Uh, membership in GITA provides your membership points for your GISP. So if you're going for your GISP the first time or you're looking to renew, uh, please uh, please consider that, that it's, a, it's an important part of your membership benefit. Uh, we have free online transcript service, which basically can serve as an online uh, CV as you're looking for uh, a new position or also as you want to take that transcript and turn it in for your GISP as you're applying with the GIS Certification Institute. Uh, we obviously, we offer our scholarship programs as I counted. Uh, we have a GITA membership rewards program. And again, we provide what I believe to be a superb networking opportunities. Uh, we need you. Uh, our help, your help is requested with any of these items here. We can we can slot you in any number of ways with planning, finance, recruiting, scholarship recruiting, candidates for the board of directors, social media, webinars, uh, help as being a webmaster, regional chapter development. Uh, we need help with our golf tournament. Copywriting is a big, uh, I could use a lot of help with that because I end up doing a lot of that myself and Steve. Uh, we always need presenters at our conferences, so put your hand up, put yourself out there. We, we really appreciate it. And uh, of course, our educational outreach. Uh, can you help us or can we help you? Let us know. Uh, as I mentioned, Steve Swayze is our administrator. 
His email's real easy, Steve Swayze, admin at kita.org. And uh, or you can contact me. My my email's real easy, president at kita.org. And as Steve says, Gita is a sweet deal. And I believe it is for the for the amount that a membership costs you and the, the benefits that we provide uh, to you as an individual or you as an affiliate. Uh, and just what we provide to the educate to the whole geospatial industry is uh, what I believe to be uh, quite a value. Uh, with that, I'm going to sign off here. I want to thank you all for attending. We'll, I, I think uh, Steve can take some folks off mute. If you have any questions, let us know. But uh, I, I want to thank uh, all my colleagues at Chair Geo, especially Steve. Sally, uh, Phil, Anthony, that, that do all the hard work to keep us running day to day. Uh, Lori Limbruner, our uh, social media uh, specialist. Uh, my fellow board of directors, all the volunteers at, uh, at the various regional conferences. We really appreciate that. So with that, I'd like to uh, Wish you all belated Merry Christmas and wishing you a prosperous 2018. So thank you all for attending. Uh, can you uh, take folks off mute if there's any any questions? Mark, uh, you'll need to do it. You've got control right now. So you'll need to go up to the participant box and. Yep, oh. I'm, I'm on yep. mute. All right, everybody's been unmuted. Uh, any questions, comments? Okay, out here, none. I really appreciate uh, appreciate everyone's help uh, in attending today. Uh, we had a pretty good turnout today, so I appreciate that. So uh, with that, uh, I'll adjourn the annual business meeting and have, have a happy new year, folks.